Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What a difference one day can make. Yesterday, we were upset about that crazy objective, and today, we're excited for a crazy promo and all of the leaked cards that EA are dropping hints to us about in the next upcoming promo. Guys, there is so much to talk about today in relation to the market, into upcoming SBC's objectives, and we finally had evolutions. Yes, we finally had some content yesterday that we could actually get excited about, and we didn't even get the SBC that we thought we might have been getting. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it, subscribe if you're new. We're going to get into a lot of stuff straight off of the bat. Let's go with the content that we had yesterday, and we have to start with evolutions, guys. We finally got evolutions once again. We have two brand new evolutions, the Pacey Winger and the Bruiser Wingback, one of which is free. Of course, the Pacey Winger is the better upgrade, and just like Relentless Winger from a couple of weeks ago, it does cost you 50,000 coins or 1,000 FC points. Man, there are a ton of cards that moved like crazy on the market after this um, was released. You had cards like Politano, Malcolm, Lucas Vasquez, and even Fleming. Some of these cards that I have in my club are some of the most popular items that people are choosing to put into this progression. You take a look at this Malcolm card. goes up to an 85 rated item with 91 pace and 88 dribbling with, uh, I, I think it gives the rapid and the quick step. Play styles, not play style plus, but play styles onto the card. But look at this Fleming card, guys. If you haven't decided who you're doing yet, like at least consider this option. 86 dribbling, 90 pace on her card with the Chelsea links. There's so many great options there in the pacey winger category. Again, the problem is it costs 50,000 coins. And the way that I look at it is a lot of these cards are pretty cheap, or you maybe have them untradeable. So 50,000 coins, if you're going to trade to it and then do the evolution, we only have, what is it, 13 days to get this one done. And there are a lot of downvotes on this one on Footbin, just because it costs a decent amount of coins uh, to get it, it get it done. But the rapid and the quick step play styles on this card is going to make it feel pretty good in game. Those are really, really good play styles. And if you take a look at a lot of the players that can be in, be involved in this, Alicia Lehman, uh, Athenia is another one with the women's team of Real Madrid links that looks very, very good. Kulusevsky is very tempting for me if I'm going to do any sort of Spurs squad. Lamella looks really good. Uh, Kirillin Nicoli, which is actually going to be a card in the upcoming promo. She looks good. Kubo, who just had the player of the month. Pulisic is a popular card that a lot of people are doing as well. There's so many options for this one. It's just the cost that gets in the way. But it's definitely a better upgrade than the Bruiser Wingback. And the Bruiser Wingback's not bad. It's cool because it's almost like the um, Golden Glow Up, right? You're taking a silver card, max 74 rated right back with max 85 pace and max 75 physical, and you're turning it into a gold right back that looks pretty solid, right? This Gendry card is the example, 84 pace with 77 defending and 85 physical. Guys, this is not going to be the most crazy evolution that is ever going to be dropped. This one is, of course, the free one. You get the bruiser playstyle plus 10 physical and a high defensive work rate on the finished card, which again, it's free. So it's not that bad. One of the craziest cards I think personally that you can put into this is actually Tim Weah with the Juve links. If you take a look at his card that can be evolved to the bruiser wingback, it goes to 88 pace, 80 physical, 80 dribbling. It looks like a very usable card in multiple different areas of the pitch. He's three star, three star, which is a little bit underwhelming. And he would actually end up having Medium, is that what that said? Medium high work rates is what that card would end up having in the end because his base card is medium, medium. There's a lot of good options for this one as well. But again, the cards just don't look as insane because you're taking a silver and you're moving it up to a gold. I think there's a couple of Premier League options. Livramento maybe is one that a lot of people are doing. Joe Scali from the Bundesliga, another American looks good. Birin Deli goes from 82 pace to 85. Really what you need to look for here is a right back that's a silver that can get you, that can start you off with about 85 pace, so then you can max it out to 88. Wilson Manafa is another great one you can do for this, especially with the La Liga links and the Portuguese uh, links that he would have there. 88 pace with some pretty solid stats. But once again, guys, none of these are like crazy, crazy insane, but it's free. DeAndre Yedlin is actually extinct on the market. That's the other thing, right? A lot of these cards, their silvers are actually extinct on the market because... 
people are going and, and trying to buy these to get them put into the objective um, and they're extinct because silvers don't have a lot of supply anyways, especially the rares. So a lot of these cards were on the market yesterday and you can see their prices absolutely exploded. Now for some of these cards, like Malcolm is one of the most hyped cards for the AC winger objective and or, uh, evolution. He went from like 700 to like almost 10K and is now back down a crazy amount. Same thing with like Alicia Lehman. Keep an eye on some of these prices because they could fluctuate today as people get back on the game, see the evolutions, and want to get involved with a few of these cards. So just watch out for some of those prices today on the market in relation to these evolutions. But honestly, W, it's finally another evolution that we have to grind. And it's only two weeks to do it, guys. So it's not that long to do, but it's usable. And I know the biggest complaint against those right now is, Nate, those cards are behind the power curve, which... You could argue that they are, but guys, I don't think evolutions are ever going to be extending the power curve because they're objectives. How often do objective cards actually come out onto the game as better cards than what is in packs or even in SBCs? Almost never. So I don't have a problem with that. I think those are nice um, uh, SBCs or nice uh, evolutions that we had yesterday. Now, speaking of SBCs, we finally did get something yesterday. We had the dynamic duo of the Leon left back and left wing, Jeffinho and Kyle Enrique. These are a W, man. I mean, it's really, really cheap to get these both done. It's an 86 rated player inside of Kyle Enrique with an 84 squad and the same for Jeffinho. One Brazilian, one League One required. So it's not that sh not that expensive to do, but Jeffinho's got five star skills, really, really good dribbling. He's got the technical play style, no play style pluses. Enrique has got a couple play styles as well. Dead ball, long pass, whip pass, and quick step. So if you're running a league on team and if you're on a lower budget, those might be decent SPCs that you can craft, especially with some of the free packs that we were getting today. We'll talk about those in a second. Now, also in the store, just to kind of check that out really fast, we did have 50k packs dropped yesterday, along with a brand new team of the week. Five 50k packs available until Friday. So they were going for that supply. But this team of the week that they put out, in my opinion, might be the worst team of the week that we have yet. Valverde is the face player, a million coins. These prices are very inflated right now. Probably the highlighted team of the week, though, is definitely the goalkeeper Giroud with 99 reactions, by the way. Like, I want to pack this card. I Shoot, I might even just have to buy him to try him out because that is sensational from EA. What a card. Love the uh, just the fun they're having with that one there. Aubameyang looks really cracked as well. Sterling and Coman were extinct. They're not going to be extinct for long, and their prices are now starting to drop after they were. So be very, very careful with those. Now, there was content that we didn't get yesterday, guys. We didn't get the hero pack. Where was it? Where did EA... Why did they not drop this thing, man? I don't know. Um, again, like we mentioned in yesterday's video, it is very common for them to drop a pack or an SBC for a pack after they add it to the code almost right away. But they didn't go ahead and do it yesterday. And there were some heroes that were down a lot and a couple of them rebounded back. But a lot of heroes are still pretty low as well on the market as a lot of people are still expecting the hero pack to be today or maybe this weekend at some point. Fodder also is not even down that much because of that expectation. We'll talk a little bit more about fodder and that stuff coming very soon. And I have some thoughts about that. Will EA actually drop the hero SBC after we get those free packs today from preseason rewards? We'll talk about that. But that's enough about content because we have to talk about all the exciting things going on right now in this game. And that is, I mean, partially the loading screen that you saw as we loaded into the video. But this Trail Blazers promo, which once again, Mbappe being the leaked card that's going to be a part of this promo is absolutely insane right and once again this card design freaking fire love it ggs and mbappe's card is going to look insane on this as well with the colors and everything ea are going bananas with this promo team guys i don't know if i've ever seen the amount of crazy players it feels like i mean some people have been making kind of the joke it almost feels like like team of the year-esque or team of the season-esque with the big players that we are getting as a part of these leaks for this promo guys it's absolutely mental. Mbappe is going to be in the team. Now, these ratings are all predictions. And once again, this promo is all about giving players a playstyle plus if they don't have one or a completely new playstyle plus if they already have one. Mbappe is in the promo team. Salah, who has an inform already, is in the promo team. That's one that's a little bit interesting. Griezmann is in the promo team. We just keep going. Graham Hansen is in the promo team. What a card that's going to be. It's one of the most cracked cards in this game. Kunde is in the promo side. 
Like, guys, I'm sure you saw a lot of these leaks yesterday. Ruben Diaz is in. This is unbelievable. Di Lorenzo is the best right back in the Serie A. He is getting a card. Declan Rice is supposedly our SBC. At least the SBC coming probably this Friday or pretty soon during Trailblazers. That could be a really nice card as well. Premier League CDM probably need to boost up that pace a little bit, but maybe he has the Bruiser playstyle plus, which would be very good for a defensive minded midfielder. Stay back CDM. That could be a really cracked card. Carolyn Nicoli, again, a card a lot of people were putting into the um, evolution. She's coming in the Trailblazers promo as well. That could be a really nice card. The Brazilian links, that's like a perfect link to Dabinha as well. Or not, not a perfect link, I don't think, but um, at least a strong link with NWSL and Brazil links there. Matoma is going to be in this promo. Guys, look at these players. This is insane. Um, Garassi is going to be in the promo as well from the Bundesliga. This promo team looks insane. Now, I do have a couple words of warning because, as they have said, this is a two-week promo. So, is it fair to look at all of these, like the Mbappe and the Griezmann and the Salah, and think, okay, are all of these going to be in PAX Friday? No, I don't think they are. I think this is a two-week promo, and I think we're only going to see some of these top-tier cards. Maybe Salah's next week, right? Maybe Griezmann's even next week. Maybe Mbappe's even next week, right? But we're definitely going to have at least... Three or four of these top tier cards, along with a lot of what seem to be really, really hype cards on the rest of the team. I mean, even on the lower tier, like technically, I guess, Garassi, who's got a lot of hype right now for how he's playing in real life. Jordan Henderson's card being Saudi League, but still English. Like that's going to be one of the fodder cards, but that's not even that bad for a cheap card and going to have a playstyle plus, which is going to make all of these cards unique. I'm assuming EA is going to give out playstyle pluses that would make sense for the card. Like, I hope they don't give um, Jordan Henderson, like, I don't know, like something like crazy, like an attacking or like finesse shot for Jordan Henderson. Like that wouldn't really make sense. Now, Bruiser or maybe like Jockey or Block, that would make sense for a card like Jordan Henderson. But that's what I'm really interested to see. And that's what this promo is all about. These cards, guys, these cards are going to be meta. It's a fact. They're going to be meta in the sense that playstyle pluses have become super, super sought after in this year's game. And a lot of the best cards in the game have them. And people are going to want to try out these brand new promo cards because they're going to have those playstyle pluses, right? Think about a lot of the heroes. Like, again, I'm using Joe Cole in my team. And Joe Cole with the um, technical dribbler. I, Boutre's got it as well. The technical dribbler uh, under the ball control section here, this playstyle plus is absolutely freaking mental. I can only imagine how good Futre is in game as well with his 93 dribbling and this playstyle plus. Like, it just changes the way that the card feels on all the different levels with the playstyles that are going to be released on these cards. It's just, it's crazy, right? EA is going all out for this promo. And people are seeing that, and it's starting to impact the market. Now, we're, we'll get more news on the cards that are probably going to be in packs tomorrow and Friday, today on Thursday, and we'll talk about it more in tomorrow's video. But as you can see, the leaks are crazy, and people are starting to panic on the market because of this. Let me show you guys some of the prices right now and things that are going on on this game on part of the, the meta market. I mean, prices, guys. Or even on cards that are going to be out of packs for this promo, take a look at Griezmann's gold card. Yesterday, Griezmann started the date even after he was leaked to be in, which means his gold card is going to be going out of packs if he's in this promo team. His card still went down. 88,000 coins is where he is right now. As a lot of people saw all the leaks and like, oh my gosh, I got to sell cards. I got to get out. Usman Dembele, a road to the final, 750 coins. He started the day at 860K. A lot of your road to the knockouts are down. Lewandowski, Joao Pedro, Dembele, Di Maria, Modric. These guys are down bad because of how insane these leaks are. Team of the week, three cards are down. Uh, Bellingham, Kavicha, Watkins. A lot of cards right now on this market are down bad. Road to the knockouts team, one even. Um, some of them have rebounded back a little bit, but... Panic selling is what's happening right now in this game because everybody is seeing what it looks like this promo is going to be and they're selling. And honestly, it's made the market really scared, guys. We'll talk about that here in just a second, but it's made the market super duper scared. Now, also what we have upcoming that I think is on people's minds as well is we have got packs coming today, guys. And when I'm talking about packs, I'm talking about packs that are going to give out a lot of fodder 
to a lot of people on this game today. Who played FIFA 23? Probably a lot of us did, right? Who remembers the preseason promo doing the Join the Club Objective 2 for, <clears throat> for the 82 times 10 players pack? And also the Join the Club 3 objective for packs that at the time we thought were going to be way too good. And we thought they weren't going to be a part of FC24. Well, those packs are being given out today. Once again, EA said that they will be available after a launch on October 12th, which is today. Not sure what time they will drop, but this is big because a lot of people are going to be getting those packs alongside of Rivals Rewards today. And I got to be honest, guys, I think we're saving them, man. You see the gravity of this promo team? Now, you know that this last promo team, Road to the Knockouts Team 2, has had a pretty high pack weight, and they are live cards. But you think about if you're going to take a chance at hitting a promo item, even if there are only half of these special cards that we just looked at going to be in packs, I would rather take a chance at hitting a Trail Blazers card with a playstyle plus added to it with all these big names. I'm going to take a chance on that instead of a Road to the Knockouts. That's the way that I'm looking at it. And I think a lot of people are going to save their packs today. And I think that actually will impact the market a little bit too because there may not be as much of a market rise today on a lot of cards because I think people are still feeling very scared, right? Yesterday after content, even though we did not have the Hero SBC, Hero prices didn't really rebound up that well. Futre is a card we just looked at. He's a, a card that I've had my eye on. Futre yesterday was around 520,000 coins before the content drop, which was down from where he usually sits at about 600k. He maybe bounced back up to like 550 right after there was no hero SBC, but he is back down. A Betty Pele, which is a card that dropped off a lot yesterday, he was like 680,000 coins. He's under 600k right now. He has dropped even further because of just the lack of really demand right now. Everybody is scared and waiting to buy teams until tomorrow on friday i still think guys if you're looking to buy cards for your team with how the market sits and how it looks right now i would still be waiting until tomorrow sometime on friday around the content drop maybe a bit later at night we'll discuss that more in tomorrow's video as we'll, <clears throat> we'll learn more about the market um, today and learn more about this promo and how it may impact the market but usually on thursdays in terms of the market we talk about investing for rivals rewards and if i have to be completely honest with how dead and how, I mean, honestly, quiet and scared the market seems, I don't know if I really want to invest in anything today, guys. Like, I'm going to be very careful with my coins. If I really buy anything, it's going to be a low-tier card that I think may rise up a little bit because if it's such a low-tier card, like probably something under 30, 40,000 coins, that people who are playing and getting rivals rewards today, maybe more casual type players would think, okay, I'm still going to go out and buy a card like this for my team because it's an upgrade and I got coins today. A lot of people are still taking the tradable rewards from rivals. That's the type of stuff that I would maybe look at today. Like maybe a player like Gavarda the Ol, who was 11,000 coins yesterday. He's 9,000 coins now after he dropped off. Maybe a guy like Gavarda the Ol goes up to like, I don't know, maybe from like eight and a half K as he was, he was 8.7, 8.4. Maybe he goes back up. He's already on his way back up, but maybe he goes back to like 10 K. That's the type of rise that could potentially happen today, but it's got to be on the very low tier, I think. And it wouldn't be a lot of cards. I would just be very careful trading today because it feels like not too many people actually want to go out and buy. Now the cards today that people might actually have interest in investing in would be these, Road to the Knockout Team 2s. And here's what I have to say about this. With the promo that we have upcoming, depending on what other leaks that we get today, if we start to get official stats leaks and the cards don't look that good, you know what it honestly is, guys? It's the opposite of last week. Remember last week when these cards were tweeted out and we saw the big tweet with all the cards in it? Everybody was like, nah, man, that promo team looks mid. It looks terrible. The predicted stats did not look good and the player selection didn't look that great. Well, what happened? The cards got boosted way bigger than we thought and um, they're actually turning out to be really, really packable and pretty cheap. I can't imagine that these cards are going to be super cheap. I mean, with the playstyle pluses and how meta they're going to be and the big name players that are here, I can't imagine they're going to be super cheap and super packable this upcoming weekend or else this market's really going to be in trouble. So keep an eye on Road to the Knockouts team too. Whether you buy them today with marquee matchups, right? Every single week we get marquee matchup supply, which drags down the market. And it's actually been a decent time to trade in the last couple of weeks as well. Whether you're looking into that sort of supply buy time or if you're going to wait 
potentially for a Friday morning panic selling drop off type of time. Watch those road to the knockouts today. There might be an opportunity to buy a couple of those at some low prices just because they're still live cards and a lot of people will want them for their teams if the new promo cards are very expensive and unobtainable for a lot of people. So just be careful on the market today. Sometimes, guys, when the market is just dropping and not a lot of people want to buy, it's just better to sit there with your coins or just do the grindy methods on the market where you're just bidding. When there's supply like there was, even supply like there's going to be today, guys, maybe just grinding the bids on SBC fodder could be a move, right? SBC fodder is still very hyped at the moment. Prices are not down that much after we didn't get the Hero SBC because people still expect the Hero SBC soon, which is a very good expectation to have. I do think it's still coming. I sold my 88s and 87s and 86s that I had, except for a couple of them. I sold most of them into the hype yesterday, right around right here. 88s were about 18,000 coins. They went all the way down to 16K. And right now, they're almost 17,000 coins again. I think people are holding their fodder cards because they expect the SBC to come. Now, with marquee matchups, it could drop a little bit today. And if we don't get it, you will probably see some fodder dip a good amount more because people will be like, oh my goodness, we're going to have Friday content with a bunch of packs in the store. That's going to make fodder drop. And it very well could. But again, guys, we have SBC still like this. Layout, player of the month was leaked. Gunman Sun, player of the month. In the next couple of days, whether it's one today, one tomorrow, or maybe both tomorrow and Friday, I'm expecting to see a Layout and a Sun POTM. And they might be very overpriced and expensive, but those are more SBCs that people could be going and crafting and getting done, especially because we're going to be getting these packs, man. And since these packs are going to be put out, EA definitely know that they got to put some SBCs out and they might make the SBCs even a little bit more expensive because they know that people are going to have a little bit extra fodder from those preseason rewards to do SBCs. So fodder is still going to be very in demand. If you still have it, I think I'm okay holding. It's a little bit more risky. Again, you need the hero pack or maybe a big layout. That's a really well-priced SBC to make it move. But in general, the 88 rated prices that we saw and that we bought at on like Saturday and Sunday at like 12K, that was probably a place where these cards will never go again. Like if 88s drop off today, I mean, if they go back down to 13, 12K, we're going to buy a bunch of them because it just looks like the SBC content is ramping up. There's a lot more SBCs that are out there and the potential for more to come. So fodder is definitely a very important watch today on this game. If we do get the hero pack again today, there probably would be a bit more panic on the hero cards. Um, and there may even be a little bit pre-content today um, if we do get it. And then of course, if we don't get it, then... I would say then after that, we'd be looking towards a time frame of maybe like Saturday, Sunday, Monday of the next week before we get it. I don't know if they drop it on a Friday. It's possible, but that's not really something that EA would do on most promo Fridays. They want the focus to be on the cards in packs and not as much a gamble SBC like a hero pack in the store. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you're going to be on the market, continue to be careful. Get those champs qualifiers games in. Get those maybe last minute rivals games in before rewards. And if you want to trade a little bit, maybe you look at the brand new team of the week as well because these cards are still pretty rare. Hop on bids during rivals rewards because people will be taking a few tradable packs. But again, I think a lot of people are going to be saving their packs. I know I am. I'm saving my rivals rewards and I'm saving my pre order um, preseason packs, the 8210 stuff. I'm saving those for tomorrow and Friday because why not, man? Those cards look too good and the big name players are there. I'm going to save them and hope to hit something big on Friday for this insane looking Trailblazers promo. So if you are excited for the promo that's coming tomorrow, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you do have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan with Accountant. See you in the stream today. Peace.